Hi everyone, this is Sean Chua from Winners Education. Many of you know me as the invited book author for both the O-Level Pure Chemistry and A-Level KH2 Chemistry 10-year series. Now, today in this video, I'm going to share with you a major misconception by students that burning is equal to boiling. They are in fact totally different. I'm not sure why some students, in fact a lot of students, tend to think that boiling is equal to burning. Probably because both of them starts with the alphabet B. All right. Now, so through this video, let me share with you the differences. So without further ado, I'm going to share screen with you. Uh, this is a screen showing the graded assignment for my SEC4 students. One of them, a new student. And in fact, he is not the only one that make the mistake that burning equals to uh, boiling. All right. Burning equals to boiling. So let me get the annotate out for you. Now, burning is actually known as combustion and is different from boiling. As you can see from this question, all right, I'll skip the technical side of it, but uh, this student in the answer, all right, relate boiling point to burning, all right, which is a totally different concept. So let me uh, get a new screen out to describe to you what's the difference. I think it's very important that students understand the difference. I'm going to use a whiteboard, all right, and let me annotate out to show you the difference. Now, here we go. Uh, what is burning? What is boiling? All right. Let me uh, write out this. Let me just create this out. All right. So it's easier for you to see. Okay. Here we go. Uh, what is boiling? And what is burning? Okay. Now, boiling is a physical state change is a physical state change whereby the gauge the liquid state of a substance is converted to the gaseous state at the boiling point the bps give you an example in terms of boiling of water right let's say boiling of water boiling of liquid water your h2o liquid over here, what happened is that liquid water is converted to your water vapor. So essentially what happened over here, if you take a look, is that the water molecules, which are held together by weak intermolecular force of attraction, which is this in, say, ping, this is the very weak kind of attraction, forces of attraction, known as intermolecular forces, they are easily overcome by heat energy. Say at 100 degrees Celsius, the heat energy able to overcome these weak intermolecular forces of attraction between the molecules. So this is what we call boiling. It's a physical state change. All right? The water molecules is still water molecule when it's converted from liquid water to water vapor. It's just that the molecules are further apart. So instead of the molecules being quite close together, now the water molecules are that. They are a bit further apart. All right, so this is boiling. What about burning? Now, burning is not a physical state change. Burning is a chemical reaction whereby it involves the reaction with oxygen gas. And Commonly, we like to say burning is combusting or combustion. Let me give you an example. All right? Let's say hydrogen gas is burnt or combusted. What happened? When hydrogen gas is burnt or combusted, it will react with oxygen gas molecule, which looks like this, and they will form water molecules. And in order to balance it, we will write a 2 over here, and we're going to write a 2 over here. All right. So as you can see, when in combustion, what really happened is that there is a chemical reaction whereby there's a breaking of the covalent bonds and the formation of the covalent bonds. So over here, involve your strong covalent bonds and not the intermolecular forces of attraction on both sides. Same thing over here. And therefore, it is a chemical reaction because reactants have become new products. 
or new substances which are known as products. I hope this is clear for everyone. Once again, as a summary, boiling is a physical state change, involves the change in the state. For example, liquid to gas, and it involves the overcoming of weak intermolecular forces of attraction. Whereas boiling is different. Boiling is known as combustion, it is a chemical reaction. Oxygen is involved, and you're going to get new products by the breaking of the strong covalent bonds. I hope this is clear and make sure that we bring this to other topics of chemistry. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. If you would like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now and click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you would like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our centre or online via Zoom. If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.teachable.com. You'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world, topic by topic. This is Sean Chua from Winners Education to your distinction in chemistry.